welcome to another tutorial of easy video series this is Mayank Agarwal here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to reset your windows password using Herein's boot CD in this tutorial I will tell you how you can reset any of your XP windows vista 7 password using a Herein's boot CD friends I have not tested this on windows yet but I'm sure this would work on windows 8 also but I have not tested it uh, the prerequisite is you can re you require a Herein's boot CD just google it and you will obtain a hidden sports cd on it so here is an example system for you uh, this is my virtual box and i am putting some password since i have forgotten the password so i am not able to log into the system so what can be done for it in case you forget you need to burn the hidden sports cd on a cd or a dvd it's under 700 mb so it can be burnt on a cd USB or a DVD. Uh, since it's my virtual box, I will show you the settings here. In virtual box, come to settings. In case you burn on a CD or a DVD, you will have to make the first boot device as CD-ROM or DVD-ROM or USB, depending on the medium on which you have burnt it. So, come to storage. In ID controller, you click browse. Choose a virtual CD and locate the path where you have Herein's boot CD you need to burn all these steps you need to basically burn the Herein's ISO so I am just selecting, I have two copies 15.0 and 15.1 let's take the latest version 15.1 <coughs> I click OK and now I restart my Windows machine normally for setting the first boot device you need to press F2, F12, something like that, depending on your Linux, uh, depending on your BIOS. So here is the Herein's boot CD 15.1. My mouse won't work here because it's the DOS menu. So in this, you can come to the option Utilities menu. Different builds of Herein boot CD might have been having different options and different UI, but the utility remains the same. Go on the Utilities menu and this option Offline XP Vista 7 Password Changer click enter the display is quite small because it's a DOS built and you won't be able to get a full screen view so the first option here is if you can see the candidate window candidate window partition found one is slash dev slash sda1 that is 100 MB a boot partition made specially by windows 7 and second is slash dev slash sda2 uh, remember here you need to give the partition where your windows is installed since my windows is in C drive that becomes SDA2 because SDA1 is the 100 MB boot partition okay normally it should specify the title here also but in my case it is not being specified because I have no label for that drive currently or it specifies the label also so it recognizes the windows partition as these two are boot partitions so for me it is partition number 2 slash dev slash sda2 so in the option I need to specify the partition number so that is 2 2 as in the left column now it will say uh, successfully loaded as you can see below is a success exclamation so what is the path of the registry related to windows disk so it automatically takes windows system32 config just press enter need not do anything third option now comes select which part of the registry to load use predefined choices so first is password reset second is recovery console the recovery console will try to do a boot force and recover the password I am just showing the password reset so I select option number one press enter now the software name is chntpw that is change nt password now the option is edit user data and password second is registry editor so you can if you are expert you can edit your registry so I will use edit user data and password so here it is showing me the usernames there are three username administrator guest and Mayank Mayank was the account in which we were not able to log in because of the password so you need to enter the name of the user so I enter Mayank ok I want to reset the password of Mayank I am entering Mayank here pressing enter now there are some options user edit menu clear user password, edit password, prompt user, unlock and enable user account so we need to clear the password since we are resetting the password 
if you edit the password you will be asked for a new password and you can directly set a new password here itself uh, so let's clear the password for clearing the password use the option one so it says password cleared as you can see now it is selling select exclamation to quit if you want to recontinue you can press the other keys which is specifies now we are just quitting it I press exclamation it quits now another option Q for quit I press Q it quits now it says the most important step writing back changes it says about to write files back do you want to continue enter yes yes now it asks you can try again if something has failed and don't worry this is a very safe process everything goes on well in case the password was not resetted you can redo all these steps and the password is definitely cleared so since my password is already cleared I will say no new run okay so now it's tell me to restart the PC just press control or delete so now you will see uh, it again boot from the CD so I'm just telling to boot from the hard drive uh, this is my windows so there you go it's so easy to reset your windows password you just need a Heroes boot CD even there are many other tools that use CH and TPW utility but using Heroes boot CD is the easiest as you can see no password was being asked to me I got a direct login that tells the experiment was successful thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel easy video series you can find me at easyvideoseries.wordpress.com also have a nice time goodbye